creating a costume piece, Project AA Part 6 slash Project A Part 36. Today is a special day. Work on my other project, this song, has slowed temporarily as I coordinate with musicians. I spend two hours every day working on that song, which means during this brief lull, we have three and a half hours to work on these pieces. And that is exciting. I fully expect us to finish wrapping this crown and then make significant headway adding gems to this piece and this one. So let's get to it. We start today by finishing wrapping in thin silver aluminum wire. Yesterday I was debating having this bottom row wrapped in silver because it basically completely hides all of this fine detail spiral work. What I think I'm gonna do is finish wrapping this side as planned, then move on to this side and start by just wrapping the X's. See how it looks with just those X's wrapped and then take it from there, either wrapping this whole thing or going back to this side and removing some of the wrapping that was done in certain areas. That's the plan. See y'all in a bit. Okay, here's the second side. First, I tried to wrap just the X's here, and it did not look good. It was not enough silver. So I went ahead and wrapped some silver around these um, joints here. And looking at it as compared to this side, I think I like this side better. I like the fact that the tight black coils are more exposed on this side, but this side just looks tighter. So what I'm gonna do is take a break from this and start to bedazzle the shoulder piece. And then after I do that for a while, either later today or even tomorrow, I will make a final decision on this. Either way, one of the sides is gonna have to be worked on further. So put this aside for now. And bedazzling. We have these two things at these two sizes. There's my finger for a reference. And the plan, currently is to take these clear crystals and place it along each of these joints here. And then take these black crystals of a slightly smaller size and place them at the center of each of these X's. And we shall be attaching it all with a hot glue gun, which is nice because it is sturdy and it is very easy to rip off of this if I decide to not use the gems in the way that I plan on using them. The only downside to this is that I will surely burn myself many times. But that's the plan, so let's try it. While this heats up, we're gonna go ahead and sort out the small black crystals from this bag that I got them in. That was easy. So we have our black crystals, we have our clear crystals, we have our handy dandy tweezers, hot glue, feels hot. Almost out of this stick, but not to worry, you guys, we have plenty. So let's get to it. have a start on the bedazzlement of the shoulder piece. Hot glue party. So this has suddenly become very, very fragile. The nice thing, as I mentioned about the hot glue, is that I can pull these off very easily, which saved my butt today, truth be told, because I was uh, playing around with different sizes and I ended up pulling a bunch of these off and redoing them. The downside to being able to pull these off very easily should be um, obvious. So I now have to treat this very, very carefully, lest I accidentally wipe off a bunch of gems. So that's that for the day, it took me a while to kind of find my legs in this. This is to be continued as well. I think that I'm going to um, put it aside until I have this thing bedazzled and then revisit the wrapping issue. So that's that. And until next time.